Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the cute cesspool. I am rebuilding what was my Explorer rocket into being a giant rocket. The idea is we're about to go to the next planet, which I'm thinking I want to head over to magma. And so I want to bring an oxidizer system or an oxidizer system with me. So we've got a big liquid tank on here and this is now cleaned out. We've got to sweep everything and then I'll build an electrolyzer system inside here and fly it over. Down here at the bottom of the base, I swapped out for some mini gas pumps. Oh, hey, the top's done. So these mini gas pumps have done the top. And now this one's taken care of down here and this door is actually eating gas pressure. So as that door closes, it kills some of the gas and it's been nice and slow, but this is all stabilized. And so you get a nice actual proper temperature gradient. The pumps are mostly pumping all the time. Yeah, that's all worked out quite well. So now that we are set on power, it's time to pump in a whole lot of water. 27,000 kilograms. That's gonna take a while to pump, but in the meantime, I need to make the electrolyzer system and sweep all of this. So let's just keep cleaning out buildings. I think my gas pipes are probably in the wrong place as well. So yeah, let's just clean all that out. Do it right, do it once. Something like this, and I'm sure that all looks perfectly clear to you. But we'll get the groups to build it. It's kind of similar to the last one I did. I love having just a group of absolutely dedicated dupes that know what they're doing. That was fast. So we have our liquid output, liquid input, which I can also connect to there to get out of the rocket. This then circles around, connects to the toilet, and then back up in here into the electrolyzer, which isn't hooked up yet. Gas-wise, all of these go into the input. Then we have a hydrogen output and an oxygen output, which we can feed into that. Yep, and there was a gas pipe there. That way I don't accidentally empty out the storage. Yeah, so now I'm just waiting on the massive liquid tank to fill up, then we can launch the dupes. I'm not saying my piping is slightly confusing, but yeah, there's a lot of piping. I decided to basically turn off everything that wasn't feeding the rocket. Just to help speed it along, all of my oxygen systems each have a five ton tank and bristle berry I've got apparently uh, way too much of it. There's 500,000 calories of it sitting around so I kind of went a little bit overboard on the farm. But the rocket's about halfway full and this will help speed it up. In fact it's about exactly halfway full. Let's make sure I got all the water reconnected. You're connected, you're connected, you're connected, that farm I don't care about. And I've just been trying to use up polluted water so you can just do that. Okay, it is time to launch the rockets. And it's a meteor shower, so, you know, perfect timing. Let's get these open. You're gonna head to there. And you are gonna have... Where's Ashcan? Ashcan. Now these guys should all be fine. There's just going to be one rocket with only two dupes in it because the third one's going to be in this rocket. Perfect timing as always. <laughs> oh, very nice. Now you take off your suit. And you've got bathroom and food, right? Yes.
One, two. Where are my dupes? Are you all stuck? How are you guys stuck there again? Okay, no idea. But uh, sequence, what are you going to do? Alright, and these dudes will come in and fix everything. Alright, we'll see you in about three cycles. I almost forgot. I need to turn this on. This is actually the thing providing the oxygen for the dupe. Oh, you're gonna do that to me. There are pipes there. Like, the pipe is there, I should be able to connect it. Please don't do the same thing with the power wire. Nope, we're good. You need to feed into the. St no, you don't need to feed into the storage. This is feeding the storage. Okay. It works. How are you hurt? And why are you. <sighs> this whole controlled, uncontrolled thing doesn't always work correctly. Sign to Bert. Okay. So they did a sign. You just gotta check this stuff every time. And while they're flying, let's go check in on these bases. I think, yeah, that went dormant, but it did a pretty good job of melting most of the stuff down here. This section still needs to be melted. Where else was I? Water planet. I mean, it's a water planet. It came down in temperature. It all looks good. And there's a pip running around, a couple of pips running around in there. Yeah, and you're running off of solar and hydrogen, so anyway. All of the previous bases are doing good. Now we're going to make more berry sludge. I've left so much lying around, I don't actually have very much over here. I was just looking up how much super coolant I have. And yeah, I forgot that that's not a K, so... You get 10 of these for each one of those. I have not made that much super coolant out, out of the amount of fullerene I have made. And... Yeah, I got 33 tons of the stuff. I've got 33 tons already. And I have not even begun to touch the amount of fullerene I have. And this is what I'm running the petroleum, the sour gas boiler off of. There's still a couple of tiles over here that are, yeah, 37,000 and 20,000. So while most of these are reasonable liquid amounts, there's these couple of really big ones. And I'm running it on uh, two and a half kilos right now. And see, it's mostly running the pipe. A couple of breaks in it. Oh, hey, you're done. Oh, gas. 
Yes, as soon as that gets around that choke point, the rest of this should drop off pretty quick. And my little natural gas eater is still working. I like it when you get to a nice solid base. What's the temperature like over here? A little candy cane glass area. I've got to get a thousand degrees out before the glass solidifies. That's going to take a while. I don't even remember what this temperature was. I mean, it must have been like 22 and we've gotten it down to 2170. Oh, what's this area? No, that's all regular magma. That's not stupid hot magma. Yeah, I don't remember what it was at, but it was hot. Oh, first rocket is in orbit. <laughs> and it's... Yeah, it's the rocket I really don't want in orbit. And his stress is a bit high, but it's not horrible. But I did, I was already here thinking about this. That should be as high as this needs to go. Is that right there is 36. God, do I... Somebody remind me to write this down. Is it 36 or 37? 37, so I gotta come down one. That's 36, I've got to come down to there. So we'll leave that magma alone and then I should be able to do three rocket platforms there. Those are seven, so I need 21 spaces. Okay, we're gonna be digging into some magma. And I think digging this side is better. Anyway, wait for the rest of the rockets to get here, then I can land some dupes and start digging. Oh, hey, there's space right there. Does that change things? No, because if I want to go that side, I've got to dig up here. Whereas for this side, I just got to dig that one. It's going to be hot. It's going to be tight. It's just what we get for landing on the magma planet. And I do have to wait two tenths of a cycle for the last rocket to get there. I'm going to be smart. This is going to be rough enough. We're going to wait for the top of the cycle. All right. And Camille should have just woken up. And you're on prototype XIV. I think I'll dig down here to the space exposure section. But we're gonna want a rocket. And then I can let all that magma out. Okay. 
Okay. I just did this math. I just did this math. That is 37. That is 37. How do you say the rocket's too tall? Son of a... So I've got to come down another one. All right. gonna be a mess. Alright, now we can dig that way. Just don't fall. Should be able to build the ladder up here by walking across the platform. Oh, you land there. Oh, that also means my ladder's too tall to put down the next platform. Because I didn't bring as many dupes, the crew... Oh no, I brought down the wrong rocket. Sure. I should have more steel, yes. And you are not controlled? None. Okay, perfect. Please don't get yourself stuck. That's worse. Oh god, my other dupes can't even get there. Space is too small. All right, uh, apparently I need to put in a triage cart. ceramic in here. Screw it, we don't need this. Did you die? Oh, they can't get down there. Oh, 
Oh, I think I'm losing a dupe. Really? Wow. That's impressive. Way to go, dupes. I did not think that dupe was living through that. There's going to be a lot of those. Okay, and the next one I want. Your stress is a bit high, but we don't care. I don't... Oh, no, I think I can do this with the ladder. And then we can change you to Burt. Oh, I need to change my default building to not nine. the dupes. Stop standing in the magma. Okay, I think I need another triage cart. Everybody's upset. You're still being healed, and yeah, R is assigned to it. Ah, oh, what a fun landing. All right, Ashcan, you were going to change you to be the crew over here. You're going to be all but not you. And then interior, I'm going to move my triage carts into here. Oh, Ashkan, you're going to need this. Too late. That way I can put the, uh... Yeah, I'm trying to keep the germs down here as much as possible. As I'm putting in the triage carts, I'll hook up the oxygen. some stuff to do. Uh, 
I haven't even bothered really looking at this yet. Looks like the Niobium Volcano is right there. It's not that hard to get to, it's just the landing was rough. Alright, Camille, let's bring you over here. And then we can deconstruct that. some hydrogen in here. No idea. I mean, hydrogen shouldn't be coming out of these other pipes. Yeah, that's oxygen only. Okay. Well, I think we will call that good. I am so unbelievably surprised my dupe didn't die. How they lived down there for that long. Camille, you are amazing. Let them get healed up, and then I will expand down into here. But thank you all very much for watching. The Magma Planet never ceases to impress with how difficult they make the landings. And I don't know why it made me... I don't know why I had to come down one more. Like, there's a whole space there it didn't let me build into. Weird. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time.